You may replay this videotape to get the bends and plier motion. This is the same patient seen after cuspid retraction, realignment of the anterior and posterior segments, and retraction of the incisors. The lateral incisor teeth were malformed at the start of treatment. The lingual cusp had to be removed under local anesthesia. Porcelain crowns will be placed after debanding. The finishing of this case took significant effort with many second order bends required. This is one disadvantage of using a small bracket the bracket error incorporated at placement that must be corrected with wire bends at finish. The anchorage in the last case was critical since the molars started out at full class two. If upper first bicuspids were extracted and the first molar alone on the upper was used for anchorage to retract the cuspid and incisors, mesial movement of the molar would have resulted in a class two finish with excessive overjet. Thus, the use of anchorage enhancers to prevent posterior tooth anchorage loss. In this case, the headgear was preferred by this adult patient because only nighttime wear was required instead of full-time wear with a transpalatal arch. Tip-back bends can be effective in anchorage reinforcement, but are usually applied to the lower arch to resist class II elastic wear. Segmental retraction also taxes the posterior anchorage less since the differential between optimal force to move a cuspid is large when compared to the optimal force to move two molars and a bicuspid. A frictionless system is easily designed such that the loop provides a force sufficient to move the cuspid, but not sufficient to move the molars and bicuspid. The incisor teeth are retracted separate than the cuspid to complete the two-step retraction sequence. In mass retraction, or putting a closing loop or other force between the anterior and posterior segments, will result in more anchorage loss since the anchorage differential between the two segments is small. The force is distributed amongst approximately equal root surfaces. Anchorage of one segment or the other can thus be changed by adding different numbers of teeth to each segment. In this case, the second molar was added. This case has a double delta loop activated two millimeters at the vertical leg by a cinch back distal to the molar tube. This amount of activation will generate approximately 200 grams of force. The light class two elastic from the lower arch to the cuspid assures maintenance of the class one correction already obtained.